We need to do something to change this 70%, what is ultimately kind of passive support, into active support and participation. We're going to start off talking about these polls for about um, the popularity of unions. So, Adam, you know, you've been taking a look at some of these polls. What's the... Yeah, what what's what's going on here? Yeah, I guess the big takeaway is that the newest Gallup poll shows that labor union disapproval is at a 57 year low. They haven't seen this low of a disapproval rating in 57 years of labor unions. So 70 percent of Americans say they approved of unions in August. And uh, that's just one point shy of the record that was hit in 2022, which was, by the way, a 57 year high at the time. Uh, so the thing that is interesting to me is that it has stayed for the last couple of years, right? Mm -hmm. Like coming out of the pandemic, we saw this labor union resurgence and really Alabama helped kick a lot of this off, right? With the Amazon warehouse mm -hmm. uh, organizing campaign in Bessemer. Uh, you know, the warrior Matt Cole strike shortly after. So Alabama helped kick off a lot of this labor union resurgence. And uh, the people have been remarkably behind us. And, you know, I've been curious and nervous, like, OK, is, is it going to turn at some point? Like, are they going to turn on us? Um, but, you know, it's not looking that way, uh, despite all the propaganda and misinformation against us. And that's what's really remarkable, I think, is that, you know, 70% of Americans don't agree on much, but 70% say they support labor unions, and it's supposed to be even higher among Gen Z and millennials, is my understanding. Mm -hmm. uh, the the stuff I saw this week didn't break it down by age, but uh, we're definitely seeing a lot of that uh, in you know folks under 45 or so. Uh, seems to be a lot more interest, and so that's really cool, obviously. It's good news. Mm. Um, what do we do with that? What do we make of that? You know, I think is, is a big question. Um, cause it's one thing to say that people support you, but it's another thing to grow your numbers. And mm -hmm. right. That's been the disconnect is the last couple of years. Yeah. We're in the news more than we've ever been in like generations. Certainly in my lifetime, we are in the news more than we've been. Uh, we have popular approval ratings that are at these all time highs. And so, but it's not growing our membership yet. Um, now, there could be some signs that maybe it's coming, right? There are more and more union election petitions that are being filed. Uh, you know, we do have some big organizing campaigns that are underway, uh, including in new industries. Uh, you mentioned earlier about the Guardian report. Uh, mm. What was it? How many grad students? 38% of all graduate workers are m in unions now. Right. That's a big shift from not that long ago. That is a big yeah. shift. So you're seeing the growth in grad students and other mm -hmm. higher ed. You're seeing the growth in retail shops, you know, like REI and Starbucks and Trader Joe's. Uh, and yeah, those are small compared to the number of shops available in the country, but you've got to start somewhere. And so seeing that take off, um, and of course the UAW's big emphasis on organizing the non-union auto industry. So with all those things in play, there is reason to believe that we will get our membership up. Uh, but I would say that all unions need to be investing in new organizing like yesterday. Mm -hmm. right. know, in a huge, huge way. Right. In a huge, huge way. Like every, like... Hey, five seconds. Just wanted to say that this is only possible because of our donors. If you want to see more of this, then consider donating yourself at tblr.fm slash donate. You know, you should be looking for pennies under the couch cushion to spend on mm -hmm. new organizing right now. When people say they want a union, people say they support unions. Well, by God, we got to get it to them and yeah. we got to figure out a way to get them in the unions. Right. Uh, and so I would say that is our biggest challenge this you know we're talking about labor day and kind of mm -hmm. the movement where we're at like that is a huge challenge that we have is capitalizing on the popular su support to really grow our numbers because we have to have big big numbers at 10 percent we're just not going to get the respect that we need right 
we represent the majority interest. Like the majority of people are labor. The majority of people are working class, whether they belong to a union yet or not. Obviously, most of them don't. And that's the problem we have to solve. But the labor movement represents the majority, the vast majority that is working class. So we have to really build on that and capitalize on that support mm -hmm. and get our actual dues paying members up to, you know, 50s and 40s and 60s level membership. That's the kind of right. level we, we got to see. Yeah. And and so, you know, that, that one of the pieces of homework for folks who are, you know, listening to this over the next week or so is, you know, really be thinking about what you can do to bring more people into the movement. If you are in a union, you know, one of the most powerful things that you could do is to ensure your contract is enforced, make sure that you bargain a historic record contract in the next round of negotiations and then be thinking about other people in your industry in your area who are not union that you could unionize that after your next round of contract negotiations you can take your contract to and wave it at the plant gates and say look what we have don't you want it too you can have it if you just organize like you need you know we really need to be serious and think strategically and, 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 and seriously about how we are going to build the movement over the next few years. Because even though it's great to have these high popularity ratings and say, like, you know, more people approve of unions today than approve of hot dogs, right? I mean, that's just kind of an astounding fact that is true, but it is not, as, as Jose in the chat points out, importantly... It is not meaningful if those people who approve of unions do not join a union or they do not participate in their union. We can have people, you know, I mean, you have these these statistics all the time, particularly around guns. Something like 80% of people in the United States support universal background checks, but it is just not an important issue for most people. You know, I mean, like whether we agree or not on that issue or about guns generally, for People going into the vote, it is just not a voting issue for most people. They're not going to vote on gun control, right? And so we need to, they're not, and, and they're not going to get activated about it, mostly. And so we need to do something to change this 70%, which is what, what, uh, what is ultimately kind of passive support into active support and participation, Absolutely. We have got to organize those folks. That's our base, right? If mm. if if 70 percent of the country is with us, we have to organize that 70 percent and get as many of, as possible engaged as much as possible, getting people stepped up into leadership, getting people to do new organizing, uh, people, you know, to step up in their existing unions, all of that. It, it all has to happen. Like, I mean, it has to be a mass movement. And I mean, we, you know, we talked about labor in the pulpit earlier. We've got to be spreading the union, uh, union organizing, just like, you know, spreading the gospel. And it is a good word to spread because it will win you a better life. You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 930 a.m. till 1230 p.m. And we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project, and you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm.